Hey kids, and welcome back to Let's Play SimCity 4. Uh, welcome back as well to the unholy mess that is Inner Bay, the neighbor city to our eventual downtown dr district, um, Plantation Bay, which I almost bankrupt last episode, uh, essentially because I was just building it too fast. Uh, so I had to make um, some changes off camera, and I had to run the clock a bunch to generate some income back and pay off some loans and stuff and I you know I'm sorry to have done that off camera uh, but I, I don't think it would have that been that interesting to watch I will try and show you what I've done um, so essentially there's a problem that happens in industrial cities uh, in this game where if you build a lot of heavy heavy dense industry it consumes more power and water, or it almost consumes more power and water than than the tax revenue it provides. So the way what you have to do to fix that, um, and I, uh, hopefully we'll we'll run into similar issues in the future, and I can kind of demonstrate it. But what you have to do to fix that is change some industrial zones to zones that provide a tax income but don't pr don't consume as much. Um, don't consume as much uh, resources. You can see that I've put this long commercial strip along along here, which is not out, out of place anyway. Uh, I've also simply, th this was all zoned dense industry before, and I, I just simply dezoned that. Uh, we, we just couldn't support uh, that much industry uh, with the power plants we had. I, I can also probably replace this oil power plant with a cheaper coal power plant. Um, or maybe two cheaper coal power plants, but uh, but rather than do that, I think uh, there's a few other things that we can do uh, to this city that, that are going to make a little bit more sense. So I don't want this city to be only industri industrial, I also want it to have some residential components. And uh, I'm going to zone some of that residential now. We have the demand for it, although uh, we'll we'll see. We'll have to take a, a close look at uh, at the at um, Plantation Bay Central or whatever whatever we're calling it at this point, and and sort of see to what extent that demand is is going to hold. Um, so what I'd like to do at this point, uh, I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that rail line. Uh, is I'd like to extend. I think this line, this this L train line, is going to fork. Uh, there's going to be one branch that goes off this way uh, to provide a link to all this industry, and then there's going to be a residential district uh, built in here, and that extends outward this way, and that's going to feed back into into the main city. So people are going to be leaving this residential district and going to work in in the commercial area of of Plantation Bay and people from Plantation Bay are going to be coming to work in the industrial area here and, and vice versa. That's, so that's the idea and we'll see how it works out. Um, so I'm going to be very cautious. I, I really, I don't, uh, I need to remember to kind of slow down sometimes and, and not, uh, not go absolutely bonkers with fast development. Other, otherwise we'll end up in the same boat as we did uh, last episode. So apologies for all of that, but you know, it's all it's all part of the game. So just building residential blocks here. I don't want to build too far out. Put some shorter blocks here. We can build this like that. Could probably put it put a station here at some point. Wouldn't hurt. I guess we've got one right there. It's probably good for now. Um, I'm probably going to refrain from building the 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 L train line for now, simply to try and keep my expenses as low as possible really have to make sure that I have enough money to just build a few blocks of this. So, because we really, we need to, basically, 
we're kind of on the edge of running out of power and water at all times in the city at this point and until we get a substantial until we get a mix of industry and commercial and residential we're going to continue to have that problem I'm um, also we're also getting a lot of fires because I only have like one dinky little fire station uh, I'm making a, a surplus of about 600 bucks a month so let's just keep going with that for now and just see if we can afford every little bit of development should probably put some bus stations in. Once again, I, I, I really should learn the uh, hotkey for bus station at some point. I'll fix up these zones later. I'm not sure why. Wait a second, bus stations first. Uh, I don't know why I'm putting them on every block. They should be every second block. There we go. Let's just do that for now. Not that it really matters. You can put bus stations on every block if you want, but it's just overkill. It's just not necessary. And they, they do all cost maintenance, so... Get the city to maybe, I don't know, 20,000 population or something. There we go. Yeah, and see, we have, we do need, we need a power plant. Good money now. Let's just throw down another coal power plant for now. I'll, I'll clean. I'll clean things up later. I'm uh, just trying to get some a kind of critical mass. Once we've got a critical mass of uh, of inhabitants in the whole urban area, um, we'll start to really heavily invest in in education. We, you can kind of jumpstart your education system. Uh, it, it it does work to do that. Um, just that you can end up, you can easily end up in a situation where you sort of have to. What am I going to do here? Let's uh, let's change this design here. Um, you can easily end up in a situation where you where you have to kind of really slow down development to pay for things. I'd like to get. I'd like to make this city quite big, uh, sort of as quickly as we can. Oh, I see. Okay. Well. Oh, that's kind of a mess. Yeah, the city has no trash collection. That's a that's a bad a bad thing. Oh, we need to diesel this. Question is, hmm. I think it's probably a good idea for me to extend that uh, rail line soon as well. Let's deal with the trash situation. So I think I'm going to try out some of these work better than others. But I think I'm going to try out one of these um, garbage mod. There's a somewhere here. Ah, here it is. Garbage disposal dock, monthly dock three, monthly cost three hundred. This is the large one. Why don't we go with the small one? These are kind of cool, and we'll upgrade it after. But we'll just kind of make it part of the port. Sort of, there's a garbage terminal in this port, which I think is kind of cool.
Oh yeah, this this one actually connects to the road network too, which is which is very cool. Some of these connect and some of them don't. You can see this is kind of an ornamental road. It doesn't actually connect to the to the road text to the road. It's just kind of a decorative element. And certainly the port will be decorative to some degree. Uh, it's not really necessary to build ports in this game. It's just uh, I just think they're cool. I think it's cool to have this kind of Victorian style port in industrial city. Okay, so I think that's dealt with the, yeah, that's dealt with the garbage problem, the garbage dock. Now I'm just considering Let's. I want this. I think I want this. This elevated train to go straight, like this, straight across there. I'm gonna need to reconsider some of the choices I've made in terms of the uh, the road network here for sure. But I'm just not gonna agonize over it for the time being, to be honest. Let's put. I want to find that one with the bus station built in. And there's a good spot right there. And that's, I think, the model of development. This is the model of development. Uh, I mean, this road network, I, to be honest, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this, the road network we've created here. But the, this is the development model I'm going to be going for uh, for all of the neighboring cities of Plantation Bay. Uh, and that is a linear development that follows uh, a mass transit line. And there's a lot of historical examples of that, as, as especially as you see a tramway and, and eventually subway and elevated rail lines ex expanding out from cities, often development follows those lines. If you look at a city like New York or Paris that was already quite, quite big when they started building a lot of mass transits, uh, sometimes the mass transit is just covering areas that are al already you know, already, we're already densely populated, but in a lot of smaller cities, like, you know, where I'm from in Montreal, for example, uh, you really start to see the dramatic expansion of the city um, with with the development of uh, tramways and, and and then eventually metro and, and uh, metro and, and, you know, other transit options. I'm wondering, I don't think I've created any rail stations in this city so this might be a good place maybe we can put a rail station like right here and that way it's only kind of a short block from from that transit station I'm gonna be looking into some different train stations at some point too we're using the vanilla ones for now but there's some really cool like elevated rail we might make some rail viaducts at some point and do that all that cool stuff I was trying to zoom out uh, there we go um, let's run the clock a bit more. Not really building much commercial in this city for now. Uh, the goal is to, to have the commercial be mainly in, in the next city over. Uh, let's look at, maybe we'll start to build a kind of suburban area as well. Sort of lower density. We've only been building medi medium density pretty much everywhere in this city. But, ah, oh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I guess what we want to do is... We need to build those stations first. Um... Yeah, the idea is, is to kind of keep the, uh, I'd like to keep the rail, sorry, the industry kind of along the waterfront here. We'll see. I might expand it over here at some point. I'm not sure just how big we want that industrial city to get. We will see.
I'm trying to build this road network in such a, in such a way that it can be fairly easily expanded uh, across this rail track. You know, this might be a good area to do uh, an elevated rail span, to be honest, because it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be difficult to build them. I don't know. Can we fit an overpass? Yeah, we can probably fit an overpass there, actually. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that for now. We'll put an overpass somewhere over here. Uh, I don't want to build this too far out from the from the rail for now because these people are going to have quite long commutes. They're going to the na neighboring tile, so and we'll just focus on this little square here. Let's put uh, another rail station in. Elevated L train, I mean. Fine. I want to get some of this built and then I want to head back over to uh, Plantation Bay reasonably soon. Yeah, somewhere here I'm going to want to build an overpass and keep that rail going over that way. Uh, yeah, let's put some bus stations in. We're going to need water. We're starting to get a little bit of a boost in the budget that we could be using for some educational facilities as well. supply is doing probably probably we'll need to be building some uh, some water uh, pumping stations soon uh, that's gonna work we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this can I yeah force it to do that definitely going to want to be giving education to this city soon. And I'll explain why. Uh, we're going to go back over to uh, Plantation Bay in just a moment. I'm going to let this develop first. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be heading back over to... Oh, God, I'm running out of money. Jesus. Really pushing the limit here. The problem, the, the biggest problem you can get into is if you run out of money and, and you run out of power at the same time. So that's really... If there's one thing you want to avoid, it's it's that situation because power power plants cost you know ten, ten twenty thousand or more, um, and you want to have money in the bank. Some people play this game as like city designers though, and, and they really just focus on uh, on building cities and making them look certain ways and stuff, which is a cool way to play the game as well. And and if you're doing that, then you know, you can just cheat and give yourself money if that if if you're not actually, and that's fine. I, I don't uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, you know with either cheating to to give yourself money or to increase the amount of demand for various types of you know. There's also some mods you can put in place as well that will that will you know max out demand for everything just so that you can you can build a city kind of as you please and I, you know that's fine. Um, I like to I like to focus on some of the kind of simulation aspects of the game. We've just got a lot of demand for uh, residential. Once you start playing in regional regional play, uh, every connection you make increases. Like there's demand caps. If you just build on one tile and you don't provide any connections, you you hit a cap where it, where the game essentially tells you uh, you have to go you have to go build in a neighboring city or this city won't progress anymore. And Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, and so, once you start playing regional regional play, those demand caps are basically pretty easy to deal with. All you have to do is build, you know, build stuff in a neighboring city to overcome them. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, I am going to. Well, you know what? Let's play some education here. 
We'll do education, see if we can afford it. If we can't afford it, we'll lower the bus funding. Looks pretty good. And let's put a hospital. Probably lower the ambulance funding on this hospital. I'm not going to fuck around with uh, clinics and small schools and shit anymore. I'm trying to develop, trying to uh, increase the population of this city and get into kind of big city territory a little bit faster. Okay, so we are just barely making money. We can reduce the funding to some of this stuff fairly easily if we if we do find ourselves running out of money in this city. Let's save and head over to the neighboring city and see what kind of demand situation we have there. And there's a few things I'd like to talk about that, that I'm planning on doing over there as well. First of all, uh, we can take a look at the regional view for a second here. I've got it in transportation view right now. So you can see these black lines are rail, and the purple lines are elevated rail. Uh, there's actually a subway line running here, and I believe... I don't remember whether I actually built the connection over here. But uh, yeah, the idea is to have these kind of elevated lines radiating out of the city. So the kind of development we are doing here in this, this kind of linear development there, uh, I think we, we will, will kind of continue up here as well and here as well. And possibly we'll have, we could have a spur going here or maybe maybe even a bridge here that connects in. That might be a good way to do things, to have a sort of an elevated or a subway type thing that, that, uh, that runs up here. Although to be honest, this is a very small tile and I don't know that the city's gonna develop quite as much there. Let's take a quick look at the satellite view. It's a pretty kind of monotone looking city. I haven't uh, haven't done a lot of, you know, we can put some smaller density areas and we're going to start to start to do a lot of that soon. We're at 185,000. Um, I think we can pretty easily get to about a million on, on you know, these two tile, these three tiles alone, we can very easily get to a million without without going for a sort of super super dense skyscraper city. But we'll see. Let's uh, let's go back to Plantation Bay. I almost want to rename this city, and you know, I don't know, give it a give it a name that's because Plantation Bay is the region name. I, I almost want to. Uh, so I've, I had to make a, in order to to salvage um, the inner bay. I had to make some changes here. So you will you will no doubt remember this as a an industrial area. Uh, I I had to get rid of. I had to dezone a whole bunch of industry and. Uh, and this is going to become a commercial area, which is unfortunate because there's this port here. Uh, I don't think it's... Let's just press play here for a second, probably. Seems like it's still getting used, oddly, the port. Uh, lots of stuff is building up. Um, interesting. Yeah, where is, where is all this... Hmm, interesting. So, do I have... Interesting that they're not using this rail. Oh, they are. Freight trains. But I'm still getting... Hmm, that's interesting. So, some stuff is still going to the port. I'm not sure how that works. Kind of, I'm very surprised. Normally they go to the closest... Normally they go to the closest way off the map, basically. But I guess, perhaps, driving across the bridge and going to the port takes less time for a lot of these than using the rail connection off the map. I'm not sure. I'm not sure and I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Um, interesting. We're up to 139,000 in this... on this map. Uh, what I want to do is develop commercial here. And it's going to be some high-density commercial, I think. For sure. Especially near the, uh, the mass transit. Like, we can probably... This city is very rich. I'm not worried about spending lots of money. We can probably put some high-density commercial there. Some of this residential stuff is probably going to want to be commercial as well. Let's take a look at where we have bus stations. So, 
Looks like there's bus stations pretty much everywhere. I haven't really changed the road network very much here. I'm gonna go straight for a dense commercial in this whole area. So that port is still getting used, I'm glad. Uh, I was kind of hoping that we would still have a kind of functional central city port, to be honest. So I'm going to upzone a lot of the commercial. We don't have a huge amount of commercial demand, but uh, as soon as we get some education going in uh, the inner bay region, we will start to see more of that. Trying to turn this into sort of an office district. Which will lower pollution and, and actually help us help us gain, uh, you know, residential desirability. So some of these neighborhoods will start to be... That's interesting, what's going on up here? Is this abandoned because of low desirability? Yes, okay, that's fine. Something else will, something else will replace it eventually. Yeah. We don't have much demand for office, so most of this is probably going to build up as services. It's fine. Interesting. So, yeah, port is definitely not being used as much. But, you know, I was hoping to do this, to rezone this from in industrial to um, commercial on screen. Uh, I just, I had to do it to fix the, uh, to fix the, the city, the neighboring city. I just had to. Um, but, but it's, that's kind of what I was going for is this, is the kind of decline of the, of a port in the central, in a central area that becomes dominated more by, by offices and commerce, uh, leading to, you know, industrial activities being moved outside of the core of the city. Uh, and that's, that's a process you see in a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, well, um, yeah, we have lots of demand. <laughs> it's a process you see in a lot of, a lot of, um, Western cities, for sure. Oh wow, a fire up here. Probably I haven't built. A f well, that's interesting. So where where is it? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we just need a fire station here. That's simple, easy fix. Just neglecting, as usual, neglecting my. Uh, not offering, not offering decent services to my sims. Oh, the fire is still happening, of course. Yes. This rail also has level crossings and stuff, but mm, it's fine for now. This is still kind of on the outskirts of the city up here. Fairly large residential population still, but we'll definitely be trying to put level crossings everywhere, wherever it's possible. Uh, I would like to also push for the other thing I want to do in this city tile here is push for some uh, high tech industry. We're making tons of cash. Yeah, we're just making cash hand over fist. Maybe I'll pass an ordinance. I don't like to use taxes to uh, tax out heavy industry. Uh, I just, I don't know, it, I find it kind of tacky. You're certainly doing a bit of that, but I don't, I don't, some people will just max out the taxes so that all the dirty industry r runs away and, and uh, you know, I, I don't, uh, not a huge fan of that. Clean Air Act. It's just too extreme. What else is there? I think that's the only real one that, that's going to affect demand. I think we'll leave everything else for now. Just do that. That should lower, basically just lower the demand here. And then... See if we can find. Just looking at high tech uh, desirability. Let's go to high tech industry. 
Yeah, you can see that most of these industrial areas have, are, you know, not not attracting a lot of high-tech industry. Uh, we need to put some parks in place and stuff. I'm gonna look at some easy areas where we could do that. Areas where it's the the demand is not that negative, perhaps in this area. I think we can probably encourage some high tech uh, high tech industry there. So maybe we'll build a big park. Like a really big park. Let's see if that can... We're kind of short on parks in the city anyway. Maybe fill this in with some other types of tiles as well. Small plazas, maybe a gazebo. Maybe some sports. And what else? The flower garden, the medium flower garden. We also have some statues and stuff kicking around. I've been just totally ignoring all those Maxis reward buildings. I'll build them at some point. Mix of oak and maple trees. That's quite a lot of trees. It's going to be very, very dense. Yeah. Let's see if that coaxes any of these to redevelop as uh Oh yeah. Awesome. So we can kinda keep some industry in the in the central city. And uh yeah, that was a very success successful um move there. Um and I'm gonna try and do the same thing along this rail corridor of, of industry, for sure. It's going to be a bit trickier because there's not a lot of space to build parks. Maybe we'll build... Where are those plazas? I want the... Uh, maybe medium plaza. What if I put like medium plaza, some of these corners here. Put one here. No, like here. It's a bit lazy, just plopping down these plazas, but I'll get more creative later. I think I've mixed in some grass here. It doesn't seem to have been very effective. Hopefully this will these, these, this will make a difference in the long run anyway, even if things don't uh, don't change vocation right away. We may have to do a little bit of punitive taxation to get rid of to get rid of it, but I just, again, I, you know, increasing it, like the default value is 7%, or 9%, sorry, uh, increasing it to, where is it, dirty industry, increasing it to 10, 11, 12%, I'm fine with that, but I don't want to just max it out, I think that's, that's not really, um, I like to have a little bit more variety in my cities, to be honest. Let's take a look at, uh, I want to probably raise the general education level of this city, although probably more important to do it next door, to be honest. Everything here is probably in pretty good shape. You can take a look at crime. Oh yeah, we got lots of crime. Uh, what I want to do is look at this map mode, though. And I only have, like, the one police station, which is really silly. Uh, let's... let's... I, I like to try and police areas where I have a lot of commercial presence, so... Uh, that's the best, the most effective use of of those resources, in my opinion. Obviously, having a lot of crime in 
in your industrial areas doesn't help for um, for getting that high tech industry either. But you know, no, oh, that's fine. I'm not going to bother um, any more than that because we're making money. But you can see very quickly as we start to offer those services. All right, let's go back, before ending this episode, let's go back to the Inner Bay region. We might be able to get the whole city region above 200,000 in this episode. Let's run the clock a bit here. What we're looking at is education. We've put down a school. And just watch that line go up. Accumulate, accumulate a bit of cash. It takes a while. Just plopping down the school uh, it takes, uh, it takes a while for it to. And I think we can also kind of simultaneously expand the residential area a bit down here. Oh, I see what's going on there. out uh, residential demand pretty f pretty quickly but the more well-educated sims we have in these uh, adjacent cities the the more that that the central area will, will generate demand for for like high-end office work and stuff so we'll be we'll be a little bit more aggressive about about uh, Education pretty soon. Are we running out of water? Have I just not laid the line? I just haven't laid this down. Okay. Should probably place a university in this in this city region soon. It's getting pretty big. Definitely needs a university. Maybe we will build another level crossing, or I guess a, an overpass. either. Oh, it's diagonal. Right. So it needs to be an underpass. Why is it one-way road? Okay. Rotate. And rotate. And then in here... Straight underground route under streets, under avenue, under highway, straight underground route parallel under straight rail. Oh, this is this these these puzzle pieces, man. They're really annoying. Under okay, straight underground route under diagonal rail. Correct. There we are. Again. That's something I'm not going to do a lot on camera because I don't think it's that much fun to watch me go through puzzle pieces. Here we are. Let me put a bus line along this this route. Um, I'm going to hold off on that city connection. I want to take a look at what's going on the other on the other side. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. It's fine. And it might make a mess on the other side, but that's not the end of the world. I can fix it later. There we 
there. Oh yeah, bus stops. Give them water, make sure they have health and uh, education as well. And then if we're making enough money, we should be able to expand uh, in the industry. Looks good to me. Uh, there's my school. Also looks good to me. We'll have to increase the funding, but that's okay for now. Yeah, we are making lots of money. Start to look at providing some more industrial workplaces for these folks. rail line here which can be very useful for um, for uh, building building some stations maybe up here we've got a station there though so it's, it's good for now I don't think there's any other train stations here we build one like here or something to be a little bit careful we've got lots of money so I can I can afford to build another power plant if we need one let's just go for it water's already there and everything. Yeah, see, right away we have a water shortage, as soon as all that heavy industry goes in. Uh, there we go. Well, everything's developing pretty nicely. Imagine, let's take a look at how people are getting around. It's always fun to do this. It is uh, in large part a traffic simulator, of course. Road traffic, bus traffic. Oh, there's no buses out here. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, the subway lines get is well used. Not a, not at not, nowhere near to capacity, <coughs> but uh, fairly well used nonetheless. Uh, one thing that's interesting is, as we build a line like this, when we go back next door, the more lines that merge into this one line, um, the more you know, the more saturated the line on the other side here will get. So I will probably build this line out until it reaches a point of saturation that's kind of untenable. Um, and then at that point I'll look at using a rail line on the other side to take some of that traffic and reduce traffic on this or creating some kind of, you know, some of these, these, these lines here where I have the rail running right parallel to this, I can use the rail as kind of an express to, to take some, to relieve some pressure off of the, the local line and stuff, the elevated line. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll certainly be looking at doing all that, but for the time being, we don't really have any serious uh, congestion. I don't think of any kind. Oh, a little bit of road congestion there. What's going on there? Oh yeah. Hm. Yeah, we do have a little bit of road congestion there, but... I wonder what's going on there. We use the... Uh, the road, the traffic query or road query tool here. Lots of bus, pedestrians.
A lot of cars. Also freight trucks. But very, very few. Okay. So mostly mostly just like passenger car. Hm. We may have to increase the capacity of that road at some point. I think we probably will to be honest, but not yet. I don't care if there's a little bit of congestion. We can also put some commercial there. I think we've already got a bit, actually. Well, it's a good place for commercial to be, where it's uh, where it's busy. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Um, this this tile is now looking much much more coherent than it was before. It was really kind of a mess when, where I left off last last episode. So I'm glad that we've uh, resolved that to some degree. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, like uh, please like the video and um, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'll see you next time. Ciao.